If shit hits the fan and you had to rely on pond water for drinking tomorrow, would your water filter be up to the challenge? In this video, we're putting one of the most trusted gravity water filters to the test in an emergency scenario. I'll be filtering dirty, nasty, untreated pond water through the British Bergfeld six gallon gravity water filter system using the maximum eight ultra stericil certified ceramic filter elements and then sending the water off for independent lab testing. We'll test two different approaches, direct filtration of the untreated water and a more comprehensive emergency water treatment method that combines disinfection, coagulation, pre-filtration, and ceramic filtration. We'll also talk about how fast this thing filters, why more filters make a big difference, and why the best emergency water filter preparation always includes both disinfection and filtration. Our lab test results showed impressive performance for both coliform bacteria and E. coli, but there's still a smarter way to treat your water in an emergency, and I'll show you exactly how, so let's get started. When disaster strikes and SHTF, whether it's a flood, wildfire, hurricane, or municipal water line break, the one thing you can't live without is clean drinking water. While bottled water is useful for short-term events, it's not a sustainable long-term solution. That's why more people are investing in emergency water filtration systems for their home, cabin, or go bag. But not all water filters are created equal and not all can be relied on in an emergency. For example, many are designed for municipally treated tap water only. What you want in a true emergency filter is something non-electric, long lasting, cleanable or reusable, and capable of handling untreated surface water, especially water that can be contaminated with bacteria, protozoa, or other pathogens. Now I'm gonna show you based on the data why the British Bergfeld filter stacks up as a top rated emergency water filter and what you can do to make it even more effective. The system I'm using for this project is the British Bergfeld six gallon stainless steel gravity water filter, which is their newest and largest model. Like all Bergfeld systems, it features high quality stainless steel construction, durable ceramic filters, and no reliance on electricity or plumbing. What sets this version apart is its massive capacity. It holds up to six gallons of water and can use up to eight ceramic filter elements at once. This makes it ideal for emergency preparedness preparedness situations where speed, volume, and reliability are critical. The more filters you install, the faster the filtration rate, and when you're dealing with surface water or treating water for a whole family, that time savings matters. One thing I love about the Bergfeld design, whether it's the 2.25, 3.17, or this six gallon version, is that the top chamber nests inside the bottom chamber when it's empty. That makes it much more portable and easier to store or pack for transport, which is exactly what you want from the best gravity water filter for emergencies. In my test, I used all eight ceramic ultra stericil filters, and it took just under five hours to process the full six gallon capacity. That works out to about 1.2 gallons per hour, which is actually quite respectable for a gravity fed system processing dirty, untreated pond water through ceramic filters. This is a huge improvement over my previous test using just two filters, where the flow rate was significantly slower and quite frankly, not practical for emergency use. So if you're planning on relying on a gravity filter system during an emergency, especially with dirty water sources, I strongly recommend investing in the maximum number of filter elements the system allows. It speeds up filtration, increases output, and gives you redundancy if one filter becomes clogged or damaged. So for this test, I collected untreated water from a nearby pond, a true, worst case scenario emergency source. The water was visibly murky and obviously not something you'd ever want to drink untreated. I ran two separate lab tests with this pond water. First, I poured the raw water directly into the Bergfeld system and filtered it using the eight installed ultra stericil ceramic elements. Second, I used a more comprehensive treatment method recommended for emergency scenarios. I began by treating the pond water with these PNG water purifier packets, which are designed for portable emergency use. These packets both disinfect the water with a chlorine-based chemical and coagulate suspended solids into a flock that settles to the bottom of the container. 
After allowing the flock to form and settle, I then pre-filtered the water through a cheesecloth secured over the top of the Bergfeld system with a strap before running it through the ceramic filters. I then sent a sample of the raw pond water and both the treated and untreated versions of the filtered water to a certified laboratory for microbiological analysis. The results, in both cases, the filtered water showed zero detectable coliforms or E. coli bacteria. This confirms two things. First, the ultrasterosil ceramic filters alone are capable of physically removing bacteria from untreated surface water. And second, our lab results fully corroborate Bergfeld's own third-party testing data, which verifies bacterial reduction of these filters. It's also worth noting that these ultra sterosil filters are NSF 53 certified for cyst removal, meaning they're officially certified to remove protozoan parasites like Giardia or Cryptosporidium, two of the most common causes of waterborne illness in outdoor or post-disaster scenarios. Even though the Bergfeld system passed this test with flying colors, it's important to note that filtration alone is not always enough, especially when dealing with viruses or highly contaminated water sources. That's why I recommend following a multi-step emergency water treatment process, especially if you're sourcing water from lakes, rivers, ponds, or questionable sources during an SHTF scenario. So here's exactly what to do step by step. First is the initial disinfection and coagulation using something like the P&G purifier of water packets. These packets kill bacteria and viruses while also binding fine particles and suspended solids into larger clumps that sink to the bottom. Step two is pre-filtering that flock. In my test, I poured the treated water through a layer of cheesecloth stretched over the top of the filter system. This step helps to keep the ceramic filters from clogging prematurely, especially if the source water contains a lot of sediment or other organic matter and or is highly turbid. If you skip this step, this stuff will accumulate on the outer shell of the ceramic filters, which slows down the flow rate and requires you to scrub them more often with a scouring pad. Step three is filtration through certified ceramic filters like the ultra sterosil elements used in the Bergfeld system. These filters physically remove remaining pathogens, cysts, and particulates, giving you clean, safe, and drinkable water. As an added bonus, the granular activated carbon, or GAC, inside the ultra sterosil filters also helps remove the residual chlorine or disinfectant taste left behind by chemical treatments like the PNG packets. So while the filters alone are effective, combining disinfection, coagulation, pre-filtration, and ceramic filtration all together is the safest and most reliable method for producing potable water from untreated surface water sources during an emergency. After putting the system through a real-world, bacteria-laden test, I can confidently say that the British Bergfeld 6-gallon gravity filter is one of the best emergency water filtration systems you can own. It checks all the boxes, it's non-electric, certified for cyst removal, independently tested for bacteria reduction, made from durable stainless steel, and capable of holding up to 8 filters for a faster flow rate. When combined with a well-planned disinfection and pre-filtration process, this setup provides the peace of mind that you and your family will have access to clean drinking water no matter what happens. So I hope this gave you some real insight into what makes a good emergency water filter and why a filter is only part of the equation. If you want to learn more, I've linked to the British Bergfeld system, the PNG purifier packets, and everything else I used for this emergency water treatment testing project down in the description. And if you like this video and want to learn more about emergency water preparedness, including how to source and store water for the long term, click or tap to watch the next video coming up right now.